Everyone remembers Google Glass, which was launched in 2013. It failed to gain any traction due to its high price tag of $1,500, lack of use cases, and concerns about privacy. While Google Glass is being used by a few businesses, it failed to ever reach the mainstream. It was ahead of its time, but foreshadowed where the tech industry would be headed nearly a decade later. Moving into 2021, Apple is taking a leap with their next major product release set to be AR Glasses. Ironically, just like Google Glass, Apple will be naming their glasses Apple Glass, but this time things are set to be a lot different. In a 2019 annual meeting with investors, Apple CEO Tim Cook said the company was working on new products that would blow them away. In a Bloomberg report, Cook also said that Apple was in the process of planting seeds and rolling the dice on new products that would be launching in the future. The breakthrough technology behind AR glasses has been many years in the works. Apple has been working on AR and VR technology for more than 10 years according to several patents filed. The company's serious interest in making glasses has also been backed up by a series of AR and VR company acquisitions including Flyby Media, NextVR, Aconia Holographics, Camerai, and VR Vayner, among others. In 2015, Apple hired Mike Rockwell to lead their secretive AR and VR unit, which has since grown to a group of over 1,000 engineers. The AR glasses they're working on are said to have a high-resolution display, 3D scanning, and advanced human detection. So when exactly will Apple Glass be released? In July of last year, the information reported that Apple Glass lenses had passed the prototype stage and entered trial production, which is a key milestone Apple has before bringing a new device to market. John Prosser, a reputable Apple leaker, says the company will announce Apple Glass before it's ready to ship, much like it waited several months to sell the first-generation Apple Watch after its debut. Apple allegedly wants members of the media present for the unveiling, so it could wait until in-person tech events resume. However, Prosser believes this launch is aimed for March to June 2021, so it could come a lot sooner than most have anticipated. With the global issues present in 2020, many have said it's entirely likely that Apple was forced to delay this launch, pushing back the release into 2022. Either way, we should be able to expect an announcement sometime this year. In looking at past Apple launches, the first series of the Apple Watch was priced at $349, and the first Apple iPad was priced at $499. Similar to these past two projects, sources suggest the Apple glasses are currently priced at $499, not including any prescription fees. This may seem low compared to the Microsoft HoloLens 2, which are priced at $3,500, and the $2,300 Magic Leap 1 glasses. However, the big difference is that Apple Glass will act more as an accessory and rely on processing power from an iPhone. This will also help ensure the glasses are slim and lightweight. According to a Bloomberg report, Apple's AR glasses will synchronize with a wearer's iPhone to display things such as texts, emails, maps, and games over the user's field of vision. A patent filed by Apple hinted that the smart glasses could also help people see in the dark via depth sensors that provide a greater look at the world around you. Just like the Apple Watch and Apple TV, Apple was also planning to have an app store exclusively for Apple Glass that will house third-party apps on it with a focus on gaming, streaming video content, and video conferencing. The glasses are expected to run on a new operating system called ROS or Reality OS, and Apple is exploring touch panels, voice activation via Siri, and head gestures as a means of control. Being an accessory to the iPhone, the design of Apple Glasses will play an important role in staying true to the Apple brand. The most recent Apple Glass prototype looks like an unintimidating pair of plastic glasses, resembling almost a Clark Kent design. It has a LiDAR scanner on the right temple, but no other cameras for privacy reasons, and was also one of the main faults with the Google Glass. The glasses will come with a plastic stand that will allow wireless charging. No one wants AR glasses that look like geekware. Just like the current prototypes, it will be important that Apple makes natural-looking glasses that will be able to appeal to the masses. Though it is unlikely to be a focus in the first generation of the Apple glasses, having an 8-hour battery life will be important for having the glasses last through an average workday and keep people using them on a regular basis. While Apple's headset is set to release next year, Facebook also plans to release their own glasses next year in partnership with the luxury eyewear giant Luxottica, and the new consumer device will have a Ray-Ban branding. Since Facebook acquired Oculus VR in 2014 for $2.3 billion, the company has continued to expand its research into virtual reality and augmented reality devices.
With Facebook and Apple both expected to make AR announcements within the next year, it will be interesting to see where the two companies line up and which company will take the lead in the race for mass adoption in AR glasses. Over the next few years, Apple glasses will go on to redefine wearable computing and may just lead us into the biggest technological breakthrough since the smartphone. Now we just have to wait for the inevitable announcement. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to like and subscribe for more.